have you ever thought, man, I could get so much more done if I could just clone myself? Or what if there were two of me? All right, so I'm gonna show you in hopefully less than five minutes, a brand new AI power tool that can do just that. It can help you clone your voice and sound like someone else. So let's dive right in. So first, let me explain what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I am the host of Everyday AI. We are a free daily newsletter, podcast, and tutorials uh, to help everyday people learn and actually leverage to actually use all this AI. So let's try to uh, use this AI and learn a little bit about it. So again, uh, this tool is called Respeacher. So it is uh, essentially a voice cloning uh, software. So super, super easy. You can click sign up for free. There's a free trial. Um, so let's jump in to see what you're going to see when you sign up. So the sign up process was pretty quick and easy. Um, I'm going to click new original right here. Um, the first, I logged in just, just a second ago. I already granted it access to the microphone. So it looks like you get 30 seconds for a free trial. So I'm going to make it quick just to, so we can get to this whole tutorial uh, as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna click start recording um, and we're gonna test it. All right, this is Jordan. I'm testing out this new re-speecher uh, software. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, you know, I guess a lot of content creators can use this. All right, so I wanted to just do something quick. Let's play it back. All right. This is Jordan. I'm Sounds good. So now you're going to click choose voices. Um, and again, right here, there's different voices. You can make yourself sound like these people. So I'm going to click uh, preview. Hey, hey, over there. You stop. Stop. Do you know what date is now? Okay. Hey, hey, over there. You stop. Stop. All right. So let's use Ada. Uh, let's see. Uh, so the, the UI UX is a little confusing because it looks like this one looks like it's always selected, but. Uh, Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so you can add an accent. You can change the pitch. Um, it looks like you can make it more casual, surprised. Okay, but let's just do it how I did it. So I'm going to click Ada, click convert, and we're going to let it go. We'll see how long it takes. So uh, let's let's jump over and talk a little text to speech. So it looks like this is speech to speech. So it's taking your own voice and modifying it into a different tone according to these preset pre-trained models. Um, there's a lot of very fascinating, very powerful text to speech softwares out there. So uh, Meta actually started to uh, release theirs a couple of weeks ago, or at least kind of talk about it. Uh, apparently, it was too good, so they aren't releasing it yet. Uh, I think because they're they're too worried about uh, how it might be used. Uh, Google has their version as well. Google's version is called Soundstorm. Uh, Soundstorm's really cool. Let's just go ahead and uh, play this. So. Where did you go last summer? I went to Greece. It was amazing. Right? So that Soundstorm, uh, text-to-speech, a lot of other uh, you know, features in there. Uh, but it looks like, all right, um, looks like we're already done. So let's jump back in. Here we are. So it looks like, um, let me go here. All right. So it looks like it chose Aaron. Uh, I thought I chose Ada, so we'll see. We'll see how it sounds, anyways. So let's again listen to the original. All right, this is Jordan. I'm testing out this new re-speecher uh, software. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, you know, I guess a lot of content creators can use this. All right, so let's hear me as Aaron. All right, this is Jordan. I'm testing out this new re-speecher. Uh, software. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, you know, I guess a lot of content creators can use this. Wow. Um, okay. I feel weird. Uh, I feel excited that the tech that's really good, but it's, it's also weird. Um, so a lot, the, the downside to a lot of these general text to speech platforms. So probably the best one out there is, uh, 11 labs. Um, which is pretty good, but you've probably heard these. There's a lot of poor quality ones. Uh, these AI voice uh, text-to-speech uh, platforms have been around for many years. Uh, Eleven Labs uh, is one of the best. Also, Well Said Labs, and there's there's some more recent ones like like I said, uh, Google Soundstorm and Meta's version. But most of them are just text-to-speech, and you can aside from Eleven Labs and Well Said Labs, they sound a little robotic. So. 
let me give you my quick take on this Reese uh, Reese Beecher. Reese Beecher. Um, it's amazing. So there's a lot of use cases, right? So maybe you just don't even want your voice out there for whatever reason, or maybe you just don't like your voice. Uh, maybe you think your voice is annoying or whatever it may be. This software did an amazing job at replicating my cadences, my tone, my pitch changes. You know, as someone that's podcasting on a daily basis and creating content, uh, there's a lot of interesting use cases for this. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful. Uh, as a reminder, if you did, please go to youreverydayai.com. Uh, we do this every day. We help people learn and leverage AI. Free newsletter, daily pod, uh, daily live stream where you can ask questions of experts and a daily podcast. So thanks, and we hope to see you back for another AI in 5.